Hello everyone, my dear friends, I welcome you all for the numerical session of this chemical kinetics. So we have over here to begin with the first numerical and that is says it that we are going to consider a substance which reacts according to the first order law and the specific rate which is given is 1 into 10 h to minus 2 per second. All right. Now, the initial concentration given is 1 mole per dm cube. So we need to find out two points. What is the initial rate? And the second one is, we are going to also find out what is the rate of the reaction after one minute. One minute means we are going to consider over here 60 seconds. So here we go for the solution. Now the solution as you can see over here, the very first part is the initial rate. The formula is going to be the concentration into the specific rate. Concentration given is 1 mole per dm cube and the specific rate is given as 1 into 10 to minus 2 and therefore the final answer is 1 into 10 to minus 2. But please remember my dear friends the units. The units of concentration is moles per dm cube and the units of specific rate is per second and therefore the unit becomes moles per dm cube per second. All right. Now the second part that we need to calculate and that is going to be the rate of the reaction after 60 seconds, that is one minute. So the integrated rate law equation for the first order is K is equal to 2.303 upon T into log of A upon A minus X. So we have to log of A upon A minus of X, if you consider, then this A is going to be one. So therefore we have 2.303 upon 60 into log of one upon A minus X. Or in other words, we can say log of 1 upon a minus of x is equal to k into 60 upon 2.303. Now the value of k we have already calculated or it's already there over here. It's 1 into 10 to minus 2, all right, into 2.303 divided by 60. And that's going to give you as 0 0.2605. What is that value? It's log of 1 upon a minus x. Now I divide both the sides by log. So here the log log gets cancelled. So what remains is 1 upon a minus x. Here on the right hand side, when we divide it by log, we get anti-log. So we're going to take the anti-log of 0 0.2605. And that comes out to be 1.8218. So 1 upon a minus of x is equal to 1.8218. But I'm interested in calculating a minus of x. So what do we need to do is, yes, we need to take the reciprocal of 1.8218 and therefore the answer comes out to be 0 0.549 all right now this is my dear friends the concentration okay and the, the units are going to be moles per gm cube or we just say capital m so when you go for the rate of the reaction the formula i've already given it over here see this same formula has to be applied over here as well so concentration into the specific rate so the concentration is 0 0.549 into the Specific rate is already given, it's 1 into 10 to minus 2, and therefore the final answer is 0 0.549 into 10 to minus 2, and the unit is moles per dm cube per second. Or you just write down capital M and second inverse. All right, so I hope you have understood this numerical very well. All right, we move on to the next numerical now, and what it says is that a second order reaction is 20% complete in 50 minutes then calculate the dime for the 40 percent completion of the reaction okay so the solution is now because it is in 100 percent so let us consider the initial concentration is 100 so the amount of the reactant reacting is how much 20 percent 20 percent is completed so x value which considers what the amount of the reactant undergoing reaction becomes how much 20 so initially we have 100, out of which 20 has reacted. So how much remains? 100 minus 20, and that is equal to 80. So that is A minus of X. Now, the time is 50 minutes, phi zero. So if you try to apply this into the integrated rate law equation for the second order, what is that integrated rate equation is? One upon 80 into X upon A minus of X. So that is equal to 1 upon 
A means 100 and T is 50. So 1 upon 100 into 50 into we have x upon a minus of x. So x is going to be 20 and a minus of x is going to be 80. Okay, so it's x upon a minus of x. So 20 by 80, that gives you 1 by 4. And here we have 1 upon 100 into 50. So that means 1 upon 5,000 into 1 upon 4. That is what we have. And therefore the final answer which we get is 5 into 10 raised to minus of 5 minute inverse. Because here the time is expressed in terms of minutes. And therefore we have the unit is minute inverse. Now the t, when we consider the t part, it's 1 upon a upon k into x upon a minus of x. I just exchanged the position between t and k. So I'm getting this equation. So it gives me 1 upon a is 100, k we have just calculated 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 into x. This time the x is going to be the amount reacted that is how much? 40. So I've written here 40. Now if I have total initial is 100, out of which 40 is reacted, so how many remains? Yes, 60. So we have 60 over here. All right? So we calculate and we get the answer as 133.33 minutes. Okay, so this is the final answer. I hope you have understood this numerical very well. All right, my dear friends, let's move on to the next part now, and that is a zero order reaction in A has a rate constant of 0.003 moles per dm cube per second. How long will it take for the A's initial concentration to fall from 0.1 molar to 0.075 molar? So we begin with the solution part. The integrated rate law equation for the zero order reaction says that A is equal to A0 minus of KT. A is the concentration of the reactant remaining after a certain time interval. A0 is the initial concentration. K is the rate constant and T is the time. So we are going to calculate for 0.075, which is the value of A. So 0.075 is equal to 0.1, that is A0, the initial concentration, minus of K value is 0.003 into T. So what we have is, if you just interchange the positions on the right and the left, so what we have is 0.003t is equal to 0.1 minus 0.075. That's going to give me 0.025. And therefore, the time is equal to 0.025 divided by 0.003. And the answer comes out to be 8.33. Now the units is very simple, that here we had per second, so here also the answer is in seconds. So the time required for the A's initial concentration to fall from 0.1 molar to 0.075 molar is 8.33 seconds. I hope my dear friends, you have understood this very well.